Okay, so now you've acclimated your dog to where your dog will happily put their face in the muzzle when there's food present. And now we're gonna work on these straps. And you'll see that there are um, there's straps that go behind the ears, and then there's this um, strap that goes up the nose. So we're gonna take this one off at first. We're not gonna worry about that one. You can completely take it off, but I'm just gonna leave it hanging for now. So um, the first step is kind of to get the muzzle somewhat um, fitted. This one is an older model and it has a, like a buckle. The newer ones have the clasp like most dog collars and I recommend those. They're a little bit easier once you get them fit, then they're fit for life. This one, if you're gonna use this one, then go ahead and mark the hole that is proper for your dog so that after you get it right, you can go back to that hole. It's a little hint. Um, so with the straps up, we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We're gonna put some food in the muzzle, muzzle. And then I'm just gonna put the, the strap over a little bit, right? And I'm gonna pull it out, okay? Some, he wears a muzzle, so he's not concerned about this, but some dogs might be wondering why there's something going over their neck. So if they look concerned, make it really short. Take your time. Some more food in there, muzzle. Then once he's okay with it, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put the muzzle on for a second, freak, and take it back off, okay? Short steps. Once he seems fine with that, then we can go ahead and put it on a little bit longer. He's like, please put this muzzle on. And we'll strap it on. Make sure if you use the bubble, the buckle kind like this that you aren't getting, or even the other kind, that you're not getting hair caught, particularly with a long-haired dog, that would feel aversive and they might blame the muzzle on that. So now he's got the muzzle on, so now we got to tell him how beautiful he is. So we're going to tell him he's, he's a good dog. Good job. And then what you want to do is you want to do something fun. And I'm going to go ahead and take this part off because it's going to bother him. So then we want to do something fun because now they're going to start rubbing their face with it. So, um, come on, yay! Go so make them run and then give them a treat. Come run, come here, come here, come here, and give them a treat. Try to beat him with his face up because they're going to want to put their face to the ground and rub that muzzle off, and you would like for them not to do that so much. Come here, come here. All the fun things that your dog likes with the muzzle. Take him on a walk, lots of treats. Um, typically, the, the food can go into the bottom hole really easily. So you just put it in your hand and they can get that food really good. Most dogs can even get the food from the ground like that. So you don't have to worry too hard. Keep your sessions really short at first and positive. Good job. and then you can take that muzzle back on. Um, I like for people to use a muzzle every day for just about five minutes at first, once they get to this spot. Um, use it when your dog is happy, wants to go for a walk, wants to play, make it really fun, lots of really good treats. In addition to treats like this, you can also use things like squirt cheese, the kind in the can, um, try it out before, Sometimes it makes a noise that might scare your dog. Um, some cream cheese mixed in with peanut butter, something that they can lick. Um, peanut butter by itself. Think about calories if you're using too much of it. But make it things that are maybe special they doesn't get on a normal basis so that the muzzle becomes something they really look forward to. And when he sees a muzzle coming out, he knows there's going to be fun times and lots of treats. And he really likes it. And if you have any questions about muzzle training and acclimation, all of the trainers at All Read are helpful with that. They can uh, have one or two sessions or they can work a whole program on muzzle training depending upon the needs of your dog. Thanks so much.